What's up, Sneaker Gang Squad? It's your boy, Jay Sneaker Squad. I haven't been on the tube for a while. I want to apologize. Today is a, mo a most busy day, an important video. I'll be bringing y'all along with me all day. I'm with my chef assistant, JR. He's about to go get, do something important. He's, uh, can't, want to tell me your story about your ribbon and then what you're going to do? Uh, well, I'm going to get a uh, cancer ribbon uh, from my mom. My mom has been fighting, fighting a thyroid cancer for about four years now. Thank God, I mean, she's getting through it. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get a cancer ribbon tattooed on my wrist from my mom. And, and we're going to go ahead and go, join along. JR with the, with the journey about he's about to do. Last week, me and him came out and did some estimates around the mall, Ingram Mall. He went ahead and found something he really wanted to roll with and, and that, that he's going to go and do. So we're taking you along to the tattoo spot where uh, he's going to get it done today. I actually got my nose pierced there a while back, but my nose ring is actually had fallen out when I was in the gym. As you can see, the mark's still here, so I don't have it no more. But we're about to go on and join JR uh, on this journey. He's about to take off to get his first tattoo. And I'm, uh, if you like what we see there, Sneaker Gang Squad, who knows? You might join your boy, Jay Sneaker Squad, there for my sec first, first tattoo, too. I might get my YouTube logo and one of my friend Sarah. So uh, catch you on a bit, man. Peace. All right, guys, we're here in the tattoo shop. Uh, there's your eyes almost ready, getting ready to get it done. So <laughs> he's trying to get the jitters out of the way, but I think it's going to be fine. He'll be fine. So the tattoo artist said we, did, we can film later on, so I'm just going to get skits here and there of how he comes out with it. So catch on the bit, man. Dallas fine, so I have a few ideas. I want to see you know, what I got to do. How much it is and whatever. We'll go from there, bro. Yeah, if we like, uh, I like the work you do, man. I'm, I'm coming to get mine too with you. So. Yeah, I'll let you check out some of my work in a bit. I think I think I sent me the link to your website, so I'm gonna start subscribing to your website. Oh uh, yeah, it's my Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's where we keep all our uh, portfolio at. Yeah, we're starting to him too, and uh, the, the piercing girl uh, website too. Yeah, if you're looking for realism or anything like that, like gray work, that's people, uh, him over there. Yeah, and the portrait for him too, right? You said portraits? Yeah, he does a lot of portrait work. Yeah. But he keeps telling me, man, once you get your first one, your first, it's, it's, it's addicting. Yeah. It's addicting. And I was like, well. Oh. So, man, you're going to want more later in the future. Oh, I know. That's what everybody's telling me. Like, when they found out I was going to get one, mm -hmm. they're like, oh, it's addicting, bro. <laughs> it's fun, man, especially when you got someone to do them good, you know what Yeah. I mean? Yeah, I mean, that's why I decided to go with you, bro. Like, when I saw your work, I was like, dude. Something, something yeah, like this, or something similar, and they were like, "Well, they were, um, they were like, um, like, dude, you shouldn't have to pay that much for that." And I was like, "Well, oh, I don't know." And they were, do they have tattoos themselves or no? Yeah, they do. And they're like, "Dude, I haven't even paid that much." Yeah, it really just depends on how lucky you get. Sometimes some people run, you know, those crazy specials. Yeah. Or sometimes they're friends of a friend or whatever. Yeah, and then like, you know, I was just like, and then like when I was talking to them, it just seemed like they were like blowing me off. You know, when you get that vibe, it's just like, all right. Yeah, I just, 
And every time I would come in here, y'all actually answered all my questions. So, you know what? I actually got to do. Yeah, we try not to push our clients out. I know a lot of tattoo shops do that if it's not over a certain budget. Y'all yeah, y'all made us feel more at home here than anything, so that's what yeah, I like about it. Yeah, and then when I saw his work, yeah. I was like, bro, this is... Yeah, this and is we've been going to the website, seeing a lot of y'all's work, and how a lot of clients say good things about y'all, so that's why we, we stuck with y'all. Plus, y'all right near near us anyway, so not that far. Oh, yeah, thank y'all for coming back. Oh, trust me. Oh, well, like we're going to be back a lot more, trust me. We have that, uh, I had that death in my family yesterday, and like I said, I want to talk to you about another one, maybe a little... Something else, so. You said it's a Spurs logo? It's yeah. either a Spurs or a Dallas Cowboy logo, but I mean, I, I just want to see it, like, you know, how big. I want to do something else on, on this wrist for my uncle, because he wasn't from here. He was born and raised here, but he lived in New Mexico. So, um, uh, what do you call it? He lived in New Mexico, so, you know, every time the Spurs or something, want, they want a championship or whatever, he's like, hey, mijo, you know, can you send me some stuff? Because, you know, out that way, it's, it's Laker country, bro. So, you know, and every time, you know, we'd get together, he would, we'd be talking sports. So, I mean, that's, that's a good way for me to remember him, you know? Yeah, good. Good memory. <laughs> it is kind of a burning sensation. Yeah, it is. It stings a little bit, but you get used to it. Yeah, it's okay with the results. <laughs> but it's looking out bad. It's gonna come out. It's gonna come out badass on the finish. I think it's gonna look better than your sister's, bro. Man, I just got the ribbon and mom. You're going with the whole different shit, so it's badass. Well, I was just gonna go with the. Uh, I was just gonna go with the. Uh, no one's like alone. But then I, I had a. Uh, I, had, uh, I like the top shit you put on there. It makes had, it look better. I had message uh, Andrew. And yeah. I was like, hey, can we add this? And it's like, yeah. I like it because it gives it a pop to it. Something different. Compared to moms and sisters, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it's a different sensation, but I mean, it gets. I guess you get used to it. <laughs> And then I think I think I got past the hard part. Everybody was telling me that when they came in, they were like, "Hey, uh, we can tattoo you, but it'll be like a, maybe three weeks to a month out." And I was like, "Bro, like what?" You lose clients that way instead of trying to make them. Yeah, that day you guys walked in, I'm like, "I will tattoo y'all today." Oh, I didn't even yeah. know y'all could do it that same day. Yeah. I thought y'all had to do a consultation or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. We uh, we do walking here. Oh shit! Well, next time I know. <laughs> I mean, if y'all aren't busy, shit. Next time. Spurs one. The Spurs one. Yeah, as long as we're not like super booked. Oh yeah, yeah, I understand that. I mean, if y'all were booked, but like I thought, everywhere you went, you know, they wanted to do a consultation first. Oh, no, we don't. You just gotta do all that. But you can actually come in with like your your own ideas and stuff. Yeah. You just come in with your own design. You would just need to give us like thirty minutes to an hour to get the the drawing ready to Drawn be put. Yeah. yeah, to be put through that machine. So that's about it. Really good. Well, screw that question. Yeah, it works naturally in your gut to help soothe occasional bloating and gas. Plus, it has vitamin B12 and digestion by helping over the cellular health. Two benefits? Two benefits? Two benefits? Two benefits? Two benefits? Two benefits? Oh, yeah, dude. It doesn't hurt as much as on the top. Once you get farther up, it doesn't hurt as much. And it doesn't really hurt. It's just like a little burning. If you like it, you got to talk to him a lot more. Man. Like, Dude, I am. Trust me. I'm a, I told you one I, I, I was planning this one, and I was already thinking about my other one. The Spurs one? Well, I wasn't even going to get a Spurs one, dude. I was going to get something else on my wrist, but then... Like the I one said, the one we really need to do, and I want to go all out in that video, is the one for your dad, the tribute to your dad. That's going to be a badass one. We got. I want pictures in that video, too, so we can say the dedication to him, you know? Or you know what we should do it? You should actually do it on Valentine's Day and get it that day, bro. That'd be yeah, badass. That the wheel, man. I but that's the day. Day. that's the day you should actually get it done, though. Tribute to him, you know what I'm saying? Memory of him for that special day. You know what's funny? Everybody knows my dad. Cause have you, did, you, did you ever go to that restaurant uh, on the south side, Don Pedro? No, I've never been there, bro. My dad used to work there. 
I'm not sure. I don't think I've heard of that one yet. Is it? Is it a Mexican restaurant or? Yeah, it's a Mexican restaurant. My dad worked there. He worked at USA and HEB. All three jobs at once. Yeah. Fucking monster is pups. <laughs> Do you, you want something a little more simpler, or are you trying to get something like a memorable piece? Um, what I'll probably end up doing with him, like you told me, I'll end up, I'll probably end up getting a portrait on that one. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to talk to you about one for my, the one for my uncle. That's the one I, I would like for you to do if you were able to. You know, once we get to talking, and I'll give you an idea. Yeah. We can throw something together that's real cool, man. Something unique. Cause like I said, he was a, a Spurs and a Dallas Cowboy fan, but um, I wanted to talk to my cousin first. I didn't want him to think, you know, I was trying to disrespect my, I was, you know, I want to talk to him first. Hey, is it cool if I do this? Is it cool if I do that? You know, I don't want to disrespect him in any way, so. Yeah. But I mean, I have an idea already, so that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Getting the word mom in there. Making the jit, man. Yeah, that's the game squad. If y'all want to come get a tattoo, come down over here at Mama Bev Ingram. <laughs> and they do great work down here, guys. They take care of you and make you feel like family. Yeah. The thing, man, there's actually two shops here in the mall. Really? Is yeah. Really? There's one upstairs, but then there's us. I haven't even seen the one upstairs. Yeah, no one knows it's a tattoo shop. It looks like a clothing shop. Really? Yeah. It just says tattoos in the back on the small sign. Sketchy as fuck. Uh, I'll just stay here. Yeah, we like y'all. This one at least. No wonder why that day that we were, uh, that day that we were looking to, when you were gonna get your nose pierced, that we talked to that girl from Claire's. Yeah. She was like, "Well, there's one downstairs," and then that guy was like, "Which one are you looking for?" There's two of them. And I, and was I was like, like "Huh?" I was like, "What the fuck?" Oh, that's what he's gonna be getting. When he gets a color day. Top part now, the tattoo. Harry almost got his bottom part. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do the Sarah one first, bro, and then I'm gonna do the, the logo one here. Oh, for Sarah? Yeah, I wanna do that right here. Is that your wife, sister? Uh, my trainer, she was my best friend. Uh, I knew her for eight years. Uh, she's my personal trainer, got me in the shape to where I'm at now, my body. And she died in a tragic accident this year in July, her and her husband and her son, so I wanna get a barbell like with angel wings on the end of it and then her her, her, her initials J uh S J uh, R in the in the middle of the barbell. Yeah, you, should, you should talk to him have it draw it up dude. Yeah. So you can have an idea. Yeah, I just want it right here. Right here, right here. Okay. That'll be my first too, so Alright we're getting the shading in JLS tattoo now. This is the outline where you out done. Now he's getting the blue tattoo the color, the shading in. Looks really nice. It's coming out good. We'll be back guys. Alright guys, this is the finished product. Finally got it shaded in, everything looks good. You know a place where they can reach you at and your website, bro? Yes, I do. We're here at a uh, permanent Marks Tattoo Shop in Ingram Park Mall. Oh. And uh, just search that up and you'll see all our work. Cool. Thank you, bro. I recommend Andrew. Hook me up really good. Huh. No pain. Steady no. hand, very steady hand. Very steady hand, very comfortable. Made the experience awesome. So, I will be coming back. So thank you, Andrew. Amazing work, man. Amazing work. Oh, that's badass. I'll definitely be talking to you about mine, bro, when I come to get mine. Yeah, we're gonna be home. Just take this off uh, once you get once you get home, you don't gotta uh, rewrap something. I'm gonna get some situation. All right, well, JR is done with this tattoo. We're about to go grab some gr grub, but this is how it looks the wrapped process of his arm. See, we'll get pictures later when it takes it off, but yeah, pretty good. Uh, he had fun. It was we started pretty much at, tw at, one, at 12 and then he finished right here now at almost one something. What is it? One, 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 one fifty. So, not too bad, not too long. It was pretty fun. 
I was I was fun for me watching that process and seeing him get it and how his reaction was, and he took it very well. Took it like a champ. So he's uh, ready. Uh, he's addicted now. He's ready to get his next next one planned. Uh, I'm next up, so I'm gonna try to get my uh, tattoo of Sarah. I gotta get it designed first and get an ideas of what I want. See how much he'll charge me, and then I'm gonna get it done. I'm about, I, want, I want the same size like his, but I want it on my my forearm. So we'll see how it goes. And then we'll we'll get the day filmed when Jay Snicker Squad gets his tattoo. But we're gonna grab a bite to eat. We'll catch y'all later, man. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay Snicker Squad, man. We here eating a Philly cheesesteak, uh, chilling at the Philly spot. JR is getting his food too. He just got his tattoo. My boy Shining with his new tattoo right here on the arm. I'm excited, guys. Uh, I like Andrew's work. Andrew's really good at what he does. Uh, I'm going to design mine first of, of, to my tribute to Sarah. I want to get something right here. Uh, tattooed of Sarah with the barbell, angel wings, and her initials. So that's what I'm trying to look, look for and go for next. But I'm really impressed with JR's work. Andrew does really good work. And he made uh, JR's look pop really come to life. And I like that JR's has meaning to it. And that's what I want to do mine when I tribute to Sarah. So we'll see how it goes, see what we do. We're gonna grab some lunch right now and then we got some errands to run. So love you guys. Catch y'all later, man. Peace. Jay Sneaker Squad family, we leave in Ingram Mall where we were at right now. Where JR got his tattoo. We're leaving right now. We had lunch, talked to Andrew about getting my tattoo and what I'm gonna do on mine, how pimp mine's gonna be uh, dedicated to Sarah. We gotta run some errands right now, me and JR. So we'll catch you on a bit. He's feeling okay. Still a little sore. Said he feel like I got a sunburn on his on his wrist, but uh, process has came out pretty really good. How you feeling, JR? Great. <laughs> I think he's more happy with the results. He wants to start putting that lotion on later on tonight, but we are good. Love you, Stinky Gang Squad. Um, we about to go run these last two errands. We gotta go to Didi's, HEB, get groceries, and then. At home, I went to the mall though. I had to buy me a new cross because my other chain had broke, and I feel naked without Jesus. So I need to have him with me at all times, even though I have the chain one I wear every day. But I need something on my neck that when he's not around me, I know I'm still gonna be protected. So this is my main one until I get my other cross fixed. But this is good to have. When I get my other cross fixed, I will be wearing this in my car, like JR's has here. See, but other than that, we love you all. Sneaky gang squad, stay motivated, stay positive, stay blessed. We'll catch you on our errands. Later, check up on JR's tattoo, and this video will be out later on today, because uh, before we do start this video, I'm giving y'all a heads up now. All the music that you see heard in the tattoo shop today, I don't own any copyrights to those musics at all, so all those musics at all that was playing in the background was by those uh, written by those artists themselves. I do know, not own any of those musics. I don't want to get copyrighted for those songs, but at the end of the day, I don't know any of the music, so I'm just giving y'all a heads up now. But uh, catch y'all later, man. All right, Sneaking Gang Squad, we're here in Jared's restroom after getting the tattoo. He's gonna show you the process of how he cleans it and everything, so that how it came out. And then we'll be doing the same thing when I get mine. He's cutting it off right now. Let me, hold on, get out the blood. Yeah, he's all bloodied up still. Things we do for our mothers. <laughs> he did it for his mama, because she's a cancer survivor and struggling every year but she's doing a lot better I have to clean it by hand sorry okay. he said no scrubbing no nothing I have to do it by hand so. but JR is addicted already he says he's officially going to go get, planning his next one already I'll let this one heal first because Damn, I don't know if I have if I have the patience to clean two at once. You're gonna be on one arm and then the other. I <laughs> fucking crazy day. <laughs> Can see you now. I <laughs> there's a lot of fucking blue inky left on your arm. Yeah. And I hurt the fucking soap, dude. <laughs> You have to do this soap to get rid of that, that ink. Yeah. It's sore right now. Of course, he fucking just dig the knife in your ass. <laughs> needles. And then he shaded the fuck out of it. But it came out badass though, dog. It's, and when it dries up and finishes, it's like legit. What do you think your pops would say? Oh, he, he would like it because when my mom first got diagnosed with cancer, 
He told my mom to get one. All right. Yeah, he told my mom to get one right off the bat, like right away. My dad's religious. He don't believe in that tattoo crap. My sister likes it a lot. He told my mom she would get one. He would leave her. I was like, are you fucking serious? Nah, I'm gonna give me one that for me for sure. Still a little blue, but he said with time it'll come off. Yeah. Liza's about telling me, don't get her name on, on you. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get her initials, but I'm not getting her name. I think it's better with the initials. Or if I don't get her name, I could just put R.I.P. in there, right? Yeah. That'd be better. Reach in the middle of barbell and stuff, just get R.I.P. And they should, they'll ask me, what does that mean, R.I.P.? My friend of mine had passed away. I'm not getting their name. He's going to pet it dry. And now he's going to pet it dry, and now he's going to add I got to go get paper towels. Sorry about that. This is the stuff JR is using to killing his tattoo all the time. And he's it's put... It's just to keep it moist. So he doesn't injure it. Two fingers, they told him. A little bit. Not too much. If he puts too much, it will make the tattoo uh, scab and peel. And you don't want that. So just a little bit of on your finger. He patted it dry. And this is going to help his healing process for his tattoo. He's doing it on his wrist. I'm not to be doing mine on my forearm. <laughs> So, there you go. And that's the process, people, to his tattoo. And it looks legit. What up, Sneaker Gang Squad? It's your boy, Jay, Sneaker Squad, man. I just want to thank everybody for chilling with me and my boy, JR, today for the tattoo video. Um, we had a blast filming it. It was fun getting the stuff out that we wanted to and needed to do. Uh, we did a lot of great things with it. A lot of great people liked it. Uh, had a great workout with my homegirl Capri today. Um, we had a blast at cardio and abs day. Uh, my tummy hurts. Cardio and abs day kicks your ass, let me tell you. And Capri don't play. So <laughs> it was a fun, good workout with my homegirl. Uh, I had fun with my boy JR today. We did a great video. Uh, I just want to thank everybody and all my Sticky Gang Squad family and everybody for joining us for this quick little video. Uh, I'm about to watch a movie, relax, and uh, get ready for tomorrow. Work. Tomorrow's another day. Another dollar. Um, I just want to tell all you San Antonio people who live here in San Antonio, be very, very careful out there on the road right now. It's really raining, wet, and slippery. And also, we're expecting tomorrow cold weather. So, snow. Probably snow and cold weather. So, we're expecting it tomorrow. Everybody, everybody, please, please, please drive out there safe. This is your boy, Jay Sneaker Squad, telling everybody thank you for today, for kicking it with me and my boy, JR. Uh, me and Chef JR Orozco, Chef Francisco Orozco, got his tattoo. My boy doing it big. We had fun today, hanging out, doing his tattoo today. I'm next. I'm up on the, I'm chopping, I'm next. I'm up on the chopping block, so... <laughs> Uh, I got a tattoo coming out for Sarah. Uh, Sarah's my personal trainer, my best friend, my road dog, my homie, my my everything. She's my heart. She's my other half. It's my best friend. And uh, she's in a better place now. Those of y'all who known her from the past videos, I always talked about her. I did a tribute video for her. Um, I'm also going to get a tattoo now in memory of her. I'm going to have a barbell with 45 plates on the side, angel wings, and in the middle, it's gonna say R.I.P. So everyone knows Sarah, who knows me and knows how much Sarah was, I'm gonna get it. I was thinking about doing it on my forearm, like right here in the front part, but I was thinking I'm just gonna start doing it. I'm gonna do it right here, like where JR got his today, because at the end of the day, I wanna be able to see it every day. And while with it being like this, I won't be able to see it, but like that, I can see it, you know? I'll be able to look at it every day, so. And JR's already addicted, he got one, he's like, I'm ready for the next one, <laughs> so. <laughs> I want to get mine and I'm going to be like that too. So I'm ready to see how I'm going to be like, oh shit, Jack got his. I'm ready too. Let's go. So yeah, but I want to thank everybody again. 
uh, for joining us for this little video. Like I said, again, for the music you hear in the, in the background in the video that JR was getting his tattoo and you hear the music that you hear in the background, I'm not... I don't own any rights to that music. It's uh, I don't. It's uncopyrighted. I'm not. I don't want to get copyrighted in this video for those music. It's nothing to do with me. I have. I don't own rights to any of those music. It's just the music they were playing in the shop while I was getting this tattoo. So, work with me, YouTube, please. <laughs> Other than that, I love everybody so so much. Sorry guys, I haven't brought out any bangers yet. But those of y'all who subscribe to the channel and have a, gave your boy 130 subscribers, I want to say thank you all so so much deep down from the bottom of my heart this is your boy j sneaker squad uh welcome to the sneaker gang squad family i'm your boy j sneaker squad we talk about on this channel we talk about clothing line on this channel we talk about sports rema billia on this channel and my fourth uh cooking on this channel and my fifth and personal favorite we talk about fitness baby keep your gains get the lifestyle going and even though it's winter coming up, still doesn't mean it stop to put in work. This is your boy, Jay Snicker Squad. Love you all. Stay motivated. Stay positive to them. Tough days keep pushing forward. Because no matter what, when you go to bed, you wake up the next morning, you look yourself in that mirror. Are you a w, w winner or are you a loser? We ain't no losers on this team. If you're a part of the Jay Snicker Squad family, we all W winners. Love you all. Good night, man. Please.